Today I was looking at uh, this interesting question on the uh, community about uh, what are the steps for receiving Jira administrator access. Now this question is from Joseph and uh, Joseph is asking about how, hello team, our our team is moving to the Jira solution and I will be the project administrator. I am attempting to find the steps on how I can achieve this level of access. However, have not found it yet. Would you be able to assist? At this time, our team does not have any project set up. This will be completely from scratch. Now this question is about uh, Jira server. But the same is applicable for server. Now if you want to give any other user Jira admin rights, you basically need to go to, let me search for something like uh, global permissions. I hope my Jira instance is working. So what you need to do, you need to go to uh, global permissions and uh, and this is the very first thing that you, you need to do. And of course, uh, you can't really do that. You need to ask your Jira admin, your current Jira administrator. If you're the one who installed Jira, then usually the first user that you create is your, is your Jira admin user. Now, if you look at this global permissions table, you have two permissions. One is called Jira system administrator. The second one is Jira Administrator. So if you want to give someone Jira Admin rights, they need to be at least bare minimum Jira Administrators. And right now on this particular table, you can see here that Jira Administrators are those users who are part of Jira Administrator Administrators group. Same is true for Jira System Administrator. So anyone who is part of this particular group will become Jira Administrator. And uh, if you go to User Management and uh, if you take a look at the groups that you have right now, you will definitely find a group called uh, Jira Administrator. I mean, I'm talking about my instance of Jira. It might be different for you. But first make sure, first ask your Jira administrator, your current Jira administrator to perform the, the steps. Like look for the groups that are mapped to the, that are mapped to the Jira system administrator and Jira administrator permissions. Now right now, if I add someone in this particular group called Jira administrator, you can click on their edit members and you can then add those users here. They will become the Jira administrators and Jira system administrators. So it is actually not very difficult. In case I can understand in case you're doing it for the very first time. If you're on if you just have a new Jira instance, you need to know how to do it. And uh, Just make sure that you don't really have a lot of admins because when you have a lot of administrators, they can mess up your instance. Only, only those people who are supposed to be Jira administrators should be made Jira administrators. And uh, talking about uh, the permissions, make sure your uh, Jira administrators and Jira system administra administrators are, uh, um, these different permissions are given to separate groups. So maybe you can create a, a group called uh, Jira system administrator, like Jira hyphen system hyphen admin, then use that particular group for only couple of people, because these people can uh, configure each and everything. If you're Jira administrators, you can pretty much do the same thing, except few things like uh, configuring email and uh, um, import export, I believe, backup and restore. But uh, more or less, if you are Jira administrator, not Jira system administrator, then 
you should be able to customize uh, the configurations and you can you can pretty much do everything when it comes to configuring your Jira instance. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.